This video will explain the bicycle or e-bike headset and how they work. We'll then look at different types of headsets and their specifications. For other services, such as overhaul or replacement, see the Park Tool YouTube Repair Channel. A headset is a bearing system that connects the fork to the head tube of the main frame. It allows for the smooth turning of the wheel left and right as we need. The head tube is fitted with bearings at the upper and lower sections. The upper section holds the steering column of the fork. The lower end of the fork will be fitted with the crown race that fits into the bottom bearing. At the upper end of the head tube, there's a movable bearing race that allows for bearing adjustments. Bearings are adjusted so that there is no play or knocking between the fork and the head tube. In a threadless headset, the stem is used to lock the adjustment in place. There are bike designs that hide the control housing or tubing inside from view. On this model, the tubing goes inside the bar, out a hole in the back of the handlebar, into the stem, and down into the headsets. These actually have the same component parts as any other threadless headset. Let's look inside. All the basic parts of a threadless headset are here. Top cap, stem, spacers, cover. Underneath the top cap, is an expansion plug. The stem can be removed and we can see inside the tubing. It goes through the spacers, into the cover, and through the compression ring. The internally routed systems tend to be tedious to service. However, they have the same basic parts as any other threadless headset and adjust the same. Bearing system and headsets can either be a cup and cone style or a cartridge bearing style. These are cup shaped races, which accept either caged or loose bearings. A cone shaped race holds the bearings in place. Cartridge bearings use round balls trapped between races. If we remove the seal, we can see the cage and bearings inside. The entire cartridge is considered disposable in most services. Knowing the headset type and sizing specification is useful information when ordering a replacement headset. Knowing the headset type will also help you service the headset. The two basic types of headsets are the threadless headsets and the threaded headsets. The term threaded and threadless refers to the steering column. In the threadless system, which have become quite popular on many levels of bikes, there are no threads on the outside of the column. There is a compression ring system in the upper bearing that's adjusted to remove play. A cap in top of the column applies pressure through the threadless stem to the bearing that removes the play. The stem is then locked into place. On the threaded headset system, there are threads on the outside of the column. The top race is threaded and that's where we make the adjustments. The adjustment is locked in place with a lock nut and the stem here has nothing to do with the bearing adjustment. There are many different types of headsets with many different specifications. Be aware there are also proprietary headsets unique to one manufacturer. Begin by checking the manufacturer's literature. Unfortunately, the bike industry has not been consistent or even logical on describing headsets. 
terms using steering column diameter or even marketing names have been used to tell us about headsets. A more consistent attempt has been made with the standardized headset information system, abbreviated as SHIS, sometimes called the headset code. It is best described in an article at parktool.com. Search for SHIS. Here, let's give an overview as we try and untangle the world of headsets. The SHIS terminology uses a series of letters and numbers to identify the headset specifications. The SHIS code begins with two letters that identify how the headset is mounted to the frame. When the headset cup, known as an adapter, is pressed tight into the frame, but the bearings sit external or above the frame, it's known as an external cup. Here's the adapter, that's the bearing, outside the head tube. Here, cage ball bearings in the cup would be outside. The SHIS abbreviation for the system is EC for external cup. A typical EC replacement headset will include a fork crown race, lower bearing, lower cup or adapter, upper cup or adapter, upper bearing, compression ring, top cover, star nut, top cap with bolt. Another headset type is called zero stack or ZS. Adapters or cups are pressed tight into the frame, but the bearings just drop in to the adapters without a press fit. The bearings end up being pretty much level with the end of the head tube. A typical ZS replacement headset will contain a four crown race, lower bearing, lower adapter, upper adapter, upper bearing, compression ring, top cover, star nut, and a bolt with the top cap. Our third system is the integrated system, abbreviated IS. The IS is a little bit similar to the ZS in that the bearings end up pretty much level with the head tube. However, the bearing seat that supports the bearings are permanently built into the frame. There is no pressed adapter. The bearings just slip in and you're done. A typical IS replacement headset will contain a four crown race, a lower bearing, upper bearing, compression ring, cover, star nut, top cap with bolt, there are no adapters, they're already in the frame. In addition to the headset type, the headset fit varies. The second set of numbers in the SHIS system refers to the diameter of the bearing, cup, or adapter. However, because the SHIS number uses the nominal size, not the actual diameter, this is where it's better to use a chart, such as the one at the Park Tool Repair Help article at parktool.com. The EC family external cup is a press fit to the frame. Frame's gonna be smaller by 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters than our adapter or cup. The EC family can contain the EC34, very common, but also EC29, EC30, EC44, EC56, among others. The ZS family is also a press fit. We can have a ZS41, ZS44, we can have a ZS49, we can have a ZS56, of course, among others. The IS family is simply the outside diameter of the bearing. The IS is a slip fit into the frame. The frame ID will be slightly larger than the bearing. Here again, we can have different standards. IS 41, IS 42, IS 52, IS 56, of course, among others. Those are some of the sizing specifications in the SHIS system. For headset fit, there's two sections of the steering column that concern us. The 
upper section of the steering column is for the upper set of bearings in the head tube, and the crownway seat is for the lower section. In the threaded headsets, the two common standards are 25.4 millimeters by 24 TPI and 28.6 by 26 TPI. For threadless columns, you can see columns in 25.4 millimeters, 28.6 millimeters, 31.8 millimeters, and 38.1 millimeters. In the Shiz system, the diameter is given after a backslash. For example, the steering column is 28.6 millimeters. The upper stack has a EC bearing, EC34, backslash 28.6 would fit the upper part of the column. The lower column, EC, external cup, backslash 30 to fit the crown raised seat. Two different numbers, top and bottom. However, not all forks have a straight steering column. This one is tapered. The crown raise for this is 40. For this cup, it's an external cup, 44, so EC 44, backslash 40 would be the correct nomenclature for this fork. Another useful concept to be aware of is called stack height. Headset stack height can be important if you're switching different models of headsets when you buy a new one. Stack height is the distance that the headset sticks out beyond the frame to the next race. On a threaded headset, the lower stack height here would be added to the upper stack height you would deduct a little bit for that lip on the top lock nut. For threadless headsets, however, the stack height is only the headset cup, top cap, bearing only. It does not include any stem or even spacers you might have above it. Generally, when picking a headset, try and pick one the same or less stack height. Let's look at some examples. These are both ZS style headsets. It's a 44 millimeter cup. The top caps tell us they're for 28.6 millimeter columns. These would be ZS44 slash 28.6. However, you can see one is taller and one is shorter. The stack height referred to as H in the code for the shorter one is about 13 millimeters. The taller one, the stack height, appears to be 18 millimeters. Replacing this headset with this taller model might work, but we would need to remove spacers to keep the same stem position. Let's walk through an example. This adapter accepts a bearing. The bearing is sitting right at the level of the head tube that's a ZS style of headset. The adapter measures 44 millimeters press fit. ZS44. The cover would fit a 28.6 steering column. We have a ZS44 slash 28.6. The stack height appears to be 12 millimeters. ZS44 slash 28.6 H12. The lower race. The bearing again sitting recessed into the head tube. Diameter. 44 millimeters. 
here, the stack height, five millimeters, but it fits the crown race of 30. Here, ZS44 slash 30 H5. Those are the numbers to look for when replacing this headset. It gets easier with use, but you'll just have to trust me on that. Again, it's best reviewed in a website article on our website. If you enjoyed all those numbers and terms, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to be notified of new videos that are posted on headset overhaul, installation, and much, much more in the headset world. Thanks for watching.